Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made a miniature donkey wearing a unicorn hoodie. This is a gift I made for a co-worker so it's got some personalized details specific for her. So for the core I just used aluminum foil, rolled it up into the general shape that I wanted. I knew that this was going to be a sitting donkey so I gave it a pretty wide bottom and a general shape of a oversized horse hat on top. I just used thin sheets of Super Sculpey that I conditioned with my fingers to try to make soft enough to just push around and using my favorite tool of my fingers. <laughs> I'm using a ball sculpting tool to just press in the indentation where the eyes will be. And then I use a thick worm of clay that I just, again, use my fingers to shape to be the general shape of legs. I play around with this for a little bit and try to make sure that I get the legs in the right position that I want. Donkeys do sit and there's loads of really funny reference photos on the internet that you can look up and see that they actually do do this and they really do sit in this position. Unfortunately, I lost the footage that I did of sculpting the ears and adding some forehead. Donkeys have pretty high peaked foreheads, so I added a bit of triangular piece to the top to build it up there. Here I am using a sculpting tool made of metal to just cut out where the mouth will be. This is just the very start of it to indicate it for me, and then I use my fingers to press out the lips more. I go back to my ball tool and press in the nostrils and then use more silicone sculpting tools to make the details around the lips. Two balls of Super Sculpey are used to make the eyes and then I use more Super Sculpey worms to build up eyelids. I used quite a few reference photos for this project. I specifically looked up not only sitting donkeys but smiling donkeys. There's loads of really amusing donkey pictures out there. I intentionally tried to capture that crooked donkey smile because I thought it was really funny when I saw that. This entire piece is made out of Super Sculpey. I did not use anything else when I created it. The only other thing that I end up using is acrylic paint and then clear nail polish for a gloss. Oh, and random foster kitten hopped on my art desk. Please ignore. Here I'm adding clay inside the mouth that I've created to start to do gums and teeth. I'm using a dental tool here to actually do the fine lines in the teeth, which I found really funny. I couldn't help but giggle while I was doing it. The idea of using a dental pick to make teeth, it felt more like I was cleaning the teeth out of the clay than anything else. Donkeys have some pretty serious lips, just like horses do, so I decided to bulk up the lips some more. I wanted this piece to have a lot of character, and I don't generally get to do cartoony things very much, so I decided to really go all out with this and make it have strong humor to it, and a funny pose, and a funny mouth, and yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I think we're ready to bake. Well, have our first bake at least. Here I'm using a pasta machine to press some of the Sculpey flat. I'm going to be making a hoodie for it, so I decided that since cloth is thin and generally the way I make fabric for sculptures and miniatures is to use actual sheets, that this was the best way to go about making the hoodie rather than trying to do it by hand with my fingers. I really wanted it to look like fabric, so it needed to be very evenly spaced out. And then once I've got it pressed, I have to actually fit it on the piece. So here I am just testing that, making trims here and there to make it the shape of a hoodie and fit it properly. This took me quite a while of going back and forth and just making minor adjustments and marking the piece with my tools to decide exactly how long I wanted the hoodie to be, where I wanted the sleeves to be, and how I wanted it to wrap around. I didn't want to totally lose everything that I had done on the body, so I knew that I wanted the hind legs to stick out. I had briefly considered actually giving it more like a onesie, because I thought that would be really funny and cute, but I know my friend wears a lot of hoodies, so I thought that to be personalized, a hoodie would be best.
Here I am attaching the actual hood part. It was easy to attach it because the hoodie on the bottom for the body was still unbaked Sculpey, so I didn't actually need to use any sort of bacon bond or anything like that to attach it. I did find doing the hood a little bit tricky because of the way that I needed to do it with having the ears stick out. I really loved how big and floppy the ears were and I decided that I had to have them sticking through the hood to make it not only make sense but look fun. So I did this sort of wraparound technique where I ended up having to do a bit of post sculpture to make sure that it looked like a good hood and connected properly, but I think it came out pretty well. It was just a little bit fiddly. Here you can see I've just used another worm of clay and twisted it into a bit of a cone shape to make the horn. Because I haven't baked it again yet, it was very easy to just press and connect it to the hoodie. Here I am sculpting the tail. Because this is going on the bottom of the pre-baked body, I am going to be using Sculpey Bacon Bond to make sure that it's secured on well. I use my metal wire brush tool to make the hair texture on the tail. I just do this in long strips to make it look like long hairs. Similar with the, I think it's called a forelock, is the little bangs part on horses and donkeys. I use Scoby Bacon Bond, just put the little piece in under the hood, and then use my metal wire brush tool to make it look like a hair texture. Here I am making the mane for the hoodie itself. Because it's going to be a unicorn, I wanted it to have a really fun rainbow mane. So I just took another strip that I had done through my pasta machine, cut it to the right size. Here I am cutting the length correctly, and then lightly textured it a little bit with my wire brush tool to give it a bit of a lined hair look. using Sculpey Bacon Bond to secure it on just because it's a thin sheet, so it's a little bit difficult to press on. And here I'm using this Sculpey Bacon Bond in the pre-baked ears to just add some fur texture. I just didn't like how smooth the ears were. Donkeys have really furry ears, so I just added these little worms in to make it look really hairy on the inside. Just some finishing touches, smoothing out the hoodie, putting in some wrinkles, and it's ready to bake. Now that it's all done being baked, it's time to paint. I've got acrylic paints. The gold is actually an enamel paint. It's a metallic gold enamel. I just like how shiny and durable it is, so I use that. I think it's also the only gold paint I have left. I just did a regular gray acrylic paint base for the entire donkey. I think I left a few parts blank because I was gonna do white. The hoodie is all white. Going for that unicorn look, so I wanted it to be like a white unicorn with a rainbow mane and a golden horn. I know some donkeys are a bit more brown or tan, but I felt that the gray was a bit more obvious, iconic donkey coloration. Painting the donkey's actual bit of mane that sticks out the front uh, gray color. Here I am painting the horn. These colors don't look quite as neon in the video, but they're very vibrant neon paints. They look great in person. I actually use these same paints on my Mario snap bracelet tutorial. If you want to take a look at that, it came out pretty cool. I did three coats total of these neon acrylic paint colors just to make them really vibrant and strong. And I didn't have every color of the rainbow and I wanted it to be a rainbow, so I used some of the acrylic paints that kind of went along with it, such as this blue, and then I mixed my own purple because the purple in the set is actually old and dry.
Here I'm using a thin brush to paint the eyes white and finishing up the white on the hoodie. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I did actually do a little pull for the zipper. I did the zipper itself in a silver, and then the pull is the symbol for a Sailor Moon character that is my friend's favorite character. Adding the little donkey stripe that they have down their backs. And here I am painting the eyes on. I used the ball tool because I thought it would be easy to get a really good round circle for the iris, but then I decided that it was too small, so I went in with the finest brush that I have to try and reach in and paint the brown for the eye. I'm using a fairly watered down red here to do the gums. Because the Super Sculpey is already a light beige flesh tone type color, it actually worked really, really well for gums. And I probably didn't even need to paint them, but I decided I would. Painting the pupils on. And here I'm just doing a dry brush on some spots to give the fur more of a textured look. I know I was going for cartoonish, but there were certain details that I really wanted to have to give it a very realistic, but still cartoonish look. Not sure how to describe that. I did the two white dots for the eyes. It's a general trick for getting eyes to look glossy. I do actually gloss the eyes as well. I'm just using gloss nail polish right here. I use this as a trick on all kinds of minis and sculptures that I do, but I decided that I wanted the teeth and gums to look wet, so I did it on those, and then I did the eyes as well. Shiny eyes look best, in my opinion, on all sculptures. And here he is. Check him out. I think he came out great. I was really happy with him. My friend was really, really excited. He hangs out on her desk at work now, along with her other little figurines. He's just super cute. He's kind of derpy, but he's also adorable. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos, please like, follow, and subscribe.